have to laugh at this Andy B character who wrote in a comment that minus 8 degrees is much too cold for Germany. I'll tell you what, he has no idea. He's lying because he doesn't know. If you don't know something and you refute the truth, then you're doing something worse than lying. You're trying to fool people with some sort of an authority that you do not have. I'm speaking on the authority that I have witnessed these phenomena. I've gathered the evidence over 20 years and more. And I know what I'm talking about. It, it, it's useless to go to the archives and look at the weather. I've done this before because I was going to try to prove the 2003 was the hottest summer and they've actually changed the archives. They've changed the data. Look at this Tower of Babel here. In order to build, they have to destroy. Anyhow, I remember very well walking to work um, 1995, 1996 in the winter in December, minus 12 degrees, clear blue sky and sun. What you need and must understand about the Elites, the serpent worshippers, the forces that should not be the minions of Satan, who likes to refer to himself as Lucifer, the morning star. He's the dark star. <clears throat> Is that they're using the sun. It's all about the sun. It's about Ra, the sun god. Ra Dio. Ra is God. That's what it's about. Versus the true son of God, Messiah. Emmanuel, God is with us. And when this, when we have the sun, there's no way that the sun can be out and it's not warm. You see, this is their whole paradigm. The sun is going to burn you. This is what the um, global warming is all about. That's why they call it glow ball because it is a glowing ball. They make it that way. The sun is actually a light, according to Genesis. And for, let's say, the first 45 years of my life, the sun was yellow. And the rays of the sun were yellow. Just observe on a sunny, so-called sunny day, you're always going to have this platinum sheet sprayed in front of the sun. You're never going to see a yellow sun. Beyond the gas, the sun will appear to look like the moon which is white because of the gas that's sprayed in front of it. If I wear a mask, you see my face. Well, you see part of my face and you just can imagine what the rest of it looks like. And that's exactly what they're doing to the sun. They're masking it so you do not know what it looks like. Many people do not even remember. That's why I'm here to tell you that the sun is yellow. Just because they're putting a mask in front of it does not mean that it's white. <clears throat> and the rays of the sun are white, not blue, excuse me, yellow, not blue and not white. For example, when the sun used to shine through a window, you would see, you could see the rays were coming from outside. But if, if nowadays, if the glow ball is on, there are no rays, none. All you see is a hard, white, what appears to be light, but is not light. It is LED, which is not light, it is darkness. Anything that does, if you look out the side and you look into the sun, you're gonna be blinded. Whatever blinds you cannot be light. Here's an alchemical temple. This is what I often show from my bedroom window pouring out fog. That is what fogs up this area. Not only that, but I'm sure they drop fog bombs. Sometimes the fog is sprayed in from above and sometimes it comes up from the ground. It looks like the ground is um, on fire, which it is. So to make a long story short, minus eight is nothing here in Germany. I remember 
I don't know what year it was, something like 2006 or 2007 in February, we had two weeks straight of minus 16 during the day. The point is that in the winter, the sun is not warm. But they're trying to make you believe it is they are conditioning you. They've been conditioning you to accept lies as truth and truth is lie. Woe to you if you call evil good and good evil. Woe to you if you come on this channel and tell lies. You will be held accountable. We will see each other at the great white throne judgment. Nobody is going to get out of that, but nobody. I know Christians who say, we're not going to be judged. Of course we're going to be judged. Everyone is going to be judged. Everyone is going to be judged. How do I know? Because it says that in the Bible. Messiah will say to some, behold, I never knew you. That's a kind of a judgment, I would say, isn't it? Besides that, there's a hierarchy in heaven, and we will be judged according to our works. Even the people that go in, if who labored all day, and the people who entered into labor first at 5 to 12 in the afternoon or at night, both will enter in, and they will both be judged. We'll be judged according to our works. Some will get a crown, some will not, and so on and so forth. But what I really wanted to say was that this person who calls himself Andy B, who comes on here, I think Satan sent him expressly to me because he knows I'm telling the truth. If I were not telling the truth, he wouldn't make such a fuss. Liars always put up a fuss when the truth is told. And the truth is that gas and electricity are killing us slowly slow kill slow grill and also just when the sun is shining through that mercurial shield that they spray in front of it every single day the sun is there whether we can see it or not <clears throat> you will notice that the, there are no rays of the sun it's just a flat hard white electromagnetic pressure and weight that's all it is it's not even warmth. It's just pressure for the glow ball. That's what the glow ball is all about. And when the man of sin comes, I don't know what, I'm, I'll be interested to see what they do with the glow ball, actually. But that's a video for another day. Perhaps take a look at the white here, the white fog still. We've got this building here that they built expressly to pump in fake fog into this area because they do not want us to have fresh air. You see, they want us constantly breathing in heavy metals and gases which assimilate into our blood, our bones, and our brains. This is similar to what Arthur Fustenbag is saying in his book entitled The Invisible Rainbow, except that he does not talk about gas. He mentions chemistry once, but he's never going to make the connection. At le Take a look here. He's never going to make the connection between um, uh, uh, the iron and the miry clay, and he's never going to talk about metals-based gases. So, in other words, the book is okay as far as it goes because it is telling you that the world is wired for sound, which is driving animals and people crazy. Not all people. Not everyone can hear this electronic noise, but I would encourage you, look what they're doing here, building, 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 digging up the ground and building. Maybe they're putting wires in that. I, I have a feeling they're just wiring the entire earth, and I think there's going to be lots of explosions coming up soon. And they're going to blame it on some sort of a an enemy. Of course, they all they have they talk about the enemy all the time. But who is their real enemy? Who is the enemy of the forces that be? Look back here at this smoke coming coming out of this edifice. 
It just, it's so bad. It just, I don't know. But anyway, who is their enemy? Their enemy, of course, is the Lord God Almighty. And they know this. They, they, they will tell you that there is no God. But they know darn well that there's a God. And they're fighting him every single day with their glow ball. They're trying to kill creation, which they are doing. And um, anyhow, I think I've really just gone too far on this video and I'm going to end it now. Maybe we can just see if the wind turbines are moving. You can hardly see them because of the fog that's still in the air. That's the thing about winter here in Disturbia. We never, we never get past all of this fake fog. That's why, you know, one day it'll be freezing and then they, they pour on the fog and the temperature goes up so that it doesn't freeze. You've got to start making these connections and I'm sure a lot of people are and have been. And that's good. It's good to know how the enemy works. He's working night and day to sabotage your soul. Do not let him have it. There's only salvation in our Messiah, in our Creator. Pray to him. You must humble yourself. It's a humbling experience for people because they think that they're gods. Don't ask me why. I think this is part of the hypnotism that we all go through.